Hello everyone, I wanted to make this quick little video to show you a trick that you could do on your TI-84 calculator to create a list of perfect squares and perfect cubes. Now, if you remember what a perfect square is, it's when you take a number, you multiply by itself, so 6 times 6, and when I hit enter, the result is 36, and that is a perfect square. So let's find another perfect square here. If I take 13 times 13, hit enter, and we have 169. 169 is a perfect square. Now, a perfect cube is when you take a number and multiply it by itself three times. So if I take 5 times 5 times 5, hit enter, it's 125. So 125 is a perfect cube. And let's do 8 times 8 times 8, hit enter. And the perfect cube that we'll have as a result is 512. Now, there's a quick way to use your Y editor and then enter an equation in there and then look at the table to create a list of perfect squares and perfect cubes um, pretty, pretty quick and efficiently. So if I hit the Y editor, what I'm going to enter into Y1 is X squared. This equation right here will produce a list of perfect squares for me because if X is 3, 3 squared would come out to be 9. So hit enter there. And then I'm going to enter x to the third power. And this equation is going to take care of my list of perfect cubes. So when I go to my table, I have x's of 0, 1 through 6 here. And in my column for y1 is a list of perfect squares. 1 is 1 times 1. 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, so on and so forth. So here's a nice list of perfect squares. And in my y2 is a list of perfect cubes. We have 8, 27, 64, and there's that 125 that we had when we did it on our home screen. And if I arrow down, I can even see more as I go down here. So I'll just arrow down right there, and then here we have it. 49, 64, 81, 100, 121, 144, 169 are all perfect squares. And I can keep on going as far as I need to. And then here's some more list of perfect cubes over here. 343, 1,000 uh, for 10 times 10 times 10. And then 13 times 13 times 13 is 2,197. So there's useful applications for Knowing this little trick on your calculator, um, off the top of my head, I know simplifying radicals that aren't perfect squares, it's always nice to have a list of perfect squares um, handy to simplify those. So uh, I hope this trick helps, and uh, have fun with it.